Welcome back to the coverage of YCS Bochum 2016. Talk about a short break. That wasn't too bad. No, wasn't. Uh, we're right back with round seven, the second to last feature match of the day. And we picked a table that is a little bit farther down because we wanted to get another crazy take. Uh, we did find something, if you ask me. Um, I can quickly bring up the pairings for you guys. This is what it looks like around table 55. Uh, in the middle, the highlighted table is 55. So we see also a Camelo Boutiglieri who went to uh, the World mm. Championship. Yeah. Yep. Uh, with Metal Force going up against Markus Beckström from Sweden, even though that sounds a little bit like a German name. With Paleozoic. Then we got Lukas Vasa with ABC going up against Selim Kesten with Metal Force. Joshua Osters. Oh, this is actually not our feature match. Joshua Osters with Mermail is going up against Paulino Salamone, ABC. Uh, so Joshua Oost is one of the named players, so to speak, yeah. uh, former Dutch champion. Maybe the reigning, I mix it up every time. Um, we want to feature Mermel, that is interesting, but something on table 25 caught even more of our interest. Now, I believe that we've actually got table 55 running as our second game, just in case yes. uh, this finishes far too quickly for you guys and we can give you something a little bit more. Yeah, you've, you've experienced that in the round before where some of you were asking, is this live? Yes, it was. It was the third game of the second feature match because we have two matches going on at the same time in our feature match area. So this one is uh, Lukas Clavis from Germany going with Metal Foes Yang Sing and Christian Stalve. It says unknown here or nothing is really there, but apparently from Germany and he's playing ABC. Right. What do we expect? this to be like? Metal Foes Yang Xing versus ABC? Uh, Yang Xing actually got a very, very cool card recently, which is essentially gives them the negation abilities that Talonites have. Yep. Yeah, with with all of the benefits of being able to special summon another Yang Xing monster at the end of it. Yeah, it's basically free. Yeah, it's absolutely and fantastic. free is, is really nice. And they also yep. had a very, very good s new synchro card. Tell us a little bit about that, Luke. Yeah, um, Deng Long, I think his name is in the TCG. Yeah, really, really strong. I mean, the idea of um, basically you, um, you know, it, it was normal to use cards like Tatsunoko to kind of jump up and th like Formula Synchron where it was another example of, you know, you, you have multiple tuners on the field, so you go into something and then go into something else to, to kind of, you know, step up the ladder. And then as long as that middle one did something useful, Formula Synchron drew you a card. No one ever complains about drawing a card. Um, so Deng Long actually just gets you to go and search, um, I, I can't remember the name of it in English, Nine Branches of the Yang Zing, um, what's what it's called in Japanese. Yeah, the, yeah, you get to go get their Counter Trap, which is pretty crazy. It's basically Barrier. If you just yeah. called it Yang Zing Barrier, people would understand <laughs> what it is. People will call it that way yeah. in, in private <laughs> talk, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so uh, you know the drill by now. We have our main feature match, if that is over in a, in a flash. Uh, because one of the these players is just winning convincingly mm -hmm. and, and super fast. We're going to go to the other feature match. So, yep. we're going to kick things off again with Lucas Clavis versus Christian Stalve. Let's take you guys to the feature match table where they are ready to get their game on. All right, we got... <laughs> <laughs> just, just them getting ready. <laughs> they're, they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! online, obviously, on their mobile phones <laughs> against each other. Um, all right, here we go. Lucas Clavis versus Christian Stalve. Metal Foes Yang Sing versus ABC. Luke's, Luke's got a bit of dual generation on the go. <laughs> yeah. And Michael and Ryan in the background. Now, ABC was really, really big in... Nine pillars. pillars. It's nine pillars, is it? Nine pillars, not branches. Uh, ABC was very, very big in Liverpool because it had well, essentially just come out at that point. We didn't see much yeah. of anything else because Invasion Vengeance was actually the sneak peek of the same weekend. Um, so, you know, have you got any fond memories of what happened with ABC, Oli? I kind of do because the thing is, I, I love these decks that have like one way to victory and they keep doing the same thing. So it's it's kind of easy to figure out. In a way, but at the same time, they're they're very consistent, very strong. I think that's especially true for this archetype. Um, if you open a Union Hanger, then there's really not that much else that you can do it for. And um, as somebody who is uh, trying to make sense of what's going on for you guys at home, it's always easy when you can say something like, he's got a Union Hanger, he's got a Gadget, he's got an A, a B, or a C. That's a good opening. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. Pretty hard you to just, argue, I hope. You described a really good opening. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think the only other open, other great opening would be like Union Hanger and Transmodify. 
But uh, so let's see which version he's actually playing here. Yeah, he is playing a brilliant fusion version. Oh, okay. Um, he's running two different types of Gemini. I usually I see people just, yeah. yeah, two people just people just generally using two Garnet is what I've yeah. seen very very often. Yeah. Is there any reason why you play both of those two rather than I, two of one? I need to remind myself what uh, what Tourmaline actually does. I'm pretty sure um, it's just a, a, it's another level four, but it's different somehow. I can't remember why. Thunder Earth. There we go. There's an A Assault Core, a Gold Gadget, and a Union Hanger in Christian's hand. So he's got a good opening. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's also got a Terraforming, so just in case he needs a second Union yeah. Hanger. However, he did open his Garnet, so... Yeah. Which, yeah. As I said just in the previous round, that's why people run two Garnet, because you're probably going to open one of your opening yeah. hand. There's a I curse. I don't know why he's playing Tourmaline specifically. Um, I don't think there's any reason. No, I think it might just be a flare kind of thing. Yeah. Right, Lucas kicks things off. He does have a dark hole in his opening hand. We didn't see that card all weekend so far. So special seven now, it's gonna go be able to get a um a Yangzing spell or trap card from his deck, I'm sure. I will just bring that up for you there. Yeah, just don't don't expect it to happen super fast. There you go. Yeah, when it's Pendulum Summoned or when it is destroyed by Battle or Card Effect while and it wants the card zone, you can add one Yangxing or Sephra spell trap card from your deck to your hand. Yeah. And you can only use it once per turn. Yeah, so, so you can tell Hankers. the card was released somewhat recently because all of the older cards, they very often they don't have the restriction once per turn. <laughs> yeah. That's that's uh, what Giovanni <laughs> told me earlier when he was totally uh, talking about his deck when he was playing one of the older cards and his opponent was super surprised. So yeah. your card is not saying once per turn. That must be pretty old. He's like, yeah, five years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Zephranu, um is kind of the the closest you're going to get to the end of your combos of, of like Denlong and stuff like that because, yeah, he's um, he just goes and gets your nine pillars straight away. I mean, Zephra was a huge boost to Yang Zing anyway. Yeah, just a, yeah. The, it was really strange that Zephyr kind of came out and it didn't really, didn't really kind of kick off as well as as well as one would have thought, especially considering it was so, it was so synergetic. Yeah. But I just don't think they had like a, a single boss monster that was, that you know the go-to build. I feel like Zephyr was kind of just one of those things that was splashable in any archetype. Yeah, like the 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 archetypal Zephyr cards, like Zeph Zephyrano, for example, you know, was was really good. Now he's hit the nine pillars of the Yang Zing there. Yeah, so he's going to just destroy Zephyrano here, and then he's going to get its effect again, I'm sure. So for those uh, about nine pillars, yeah. So it, when it, when a spell trap or monster effect, activate, effect is activated, so far reading exactly the same as Infernity Barrier. Mm -hmm. uh, and you control a Yang Zing card, slightly different. Uh, and you get the activation if you do, shuffle that card back into the deck, and then destroy a Yang Zing monster. Is it Actually, it's Yang Zing card, so even better. Most now, of the times, it's actually better to shuffle the card back into the deck. Yeah, generally. Than yeah. Having it in the graveyard. Yeah. yeah. Now, it looks like he'd terraformed for a Union Hanger there, a, a second one, so he does still have one in hand, and yeah. then that's what was, neg was negated. He is going to be able to just play another one now. Yeah. I don't think he actually... Yeah, he doesn't have Garnet in hand. He has Tourmaline. Oh, no, he drew Dom Tourmaline. Wow, that's, that's not oh, good. Oh, that's unlucky. That's not good. Um, I'm not quite sure what he's got set back there. Um, it's not come up on our app just yet. Oh, it's a uh, Metal Foes combination there. Yeah. Down so comes yeah. the gold gadget. Yeah. What's it making? Quick look. Um, probably Sukiomi. Potentially Castell to try and take over one of the scales. So when is the Union Hanger going to come down? No, no, no. He already negated one of the Union Hangers with nine branches, and nine branches shuffles it back in. And he still has one in his hand. Yeah, Does yeah. But you can, you can only it? activate one a turn. But when it gets negated, is that or is that part of the negation effect? I'm pretty sure your Union Hanger is only once per turn. But one second, let me let me let me double check what it says. Uh, yeah, you can only activate one. However, yes, the activation did get negated, so it may be one of those situations where well, the he doesn't, doesn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to get everybody on the same page here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he's. I think the player just didn't realize. I never actually really looked at the uh, picture of Union Hanger. Yeah, it's um, it's X Y Z. The only little pet carriers. Yeah. Yeah. It's even got the little um, 
like letters on the side of the carriers. You, yeah. see, you see them? Yeah, it looks really cool. So what's he going for? Do you think still think Sukiyomi? Um, I don't know why he's he's kind of going back and forth here. Yeah. It's like the There's not that many options. Yep. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so it was Sukiyomi. And interesting that this card is not really part of the archetype in a way, but still always yeah. getting played in that archetype. Yeah. Tsukiyomi is very good just because it lets you draw cards. And then he draws the brilliant fusion. Oh, oh this is no, rough. That's painful. <laughs> that's rough. No. <laughs> Stakes really trolling him. But then again, he is undefeated. Um, as far as I can tell, I can double check that actually. It looks it looks like it from which table he was on. Yeah, twenty five should be undefeated. Um, yeah. maybe one of them gets paired up or down or something. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. But you think um He drew into a crush wyvern as well. Now Lucas seems to have a pretty good hand there. Yeah, just I mean he has Swanee, he has Dark Hole. You'd probably uh summon Swanee and then Dark Hole, maybe. I mean, at the very least, he can um, he can pendulum summon back those two monsters and then even destroy them if he wishes. He can he can destroy the Swani to go into a uh, Bashir by um, g getting the uh, Jatu from uh, from the Swani search. Oh, actually, these guys are X1. Oh, okay. Despite them sitting on table 25, uh, Christian 501. Just gonna double check if Lucas didn't get. Uh down paired or something, but okay. So so when he hits the field, yeah. So maybe dark dark hole here, or maybe just yeah. I'm not too. There's various ways to go about this. It's one of the reasons why I really loved playing Yang Zing. Yeah. So I mean, you could dark hole right now, and then which is what he's going yeah, for. Yeah. So he's going to get Sawani's effect here, and then he can pendul pendulum summon later. One of those sticks <laughs> where you really don't mind destroying your own cards. Oh yeah, it's uh, even advised. <laughs> One thing that always seems to confuse players is about when a uh, Yang Zing will miss timing, though. Because mm -hmm. they're one of the only cards, really, that are out there at the moment that misses timing. Apart yeah. from Denglong. Yeah. So, yeah. he's Now, here's the, the cool part about this deck. He's got, he's got two really kind of clear-cut engines that just happen to work together because of the self-destruction stuff of uh, the Metal Force cards. And he's able to just, you know, put a bit of effort into his uh, Metal Force side of his engine now. And then he'll have many a star on the field to be able to sync or something, something big. Yeah. I wonder if he's playing Chaofeng. Yeah, he's playing Chaofeng. It's kind of a bit of a staple, really, isn't it? Yeah, I, I just, I, it's the kind of deck where you kind of struggle for extra deck space, and it's the kind of thing that you, this this format, you would likely cut for maybe the side deck or something. Because, yeah, if you manage to get it made with a light monster against ABCs, then that's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I mean, is it does it include the two now? I forget which I think. Yeah, yeah I, think it includes, I think it includes all of them. Which, yeah, would be a good play right now because then he's shutting down. Yeah. So as I was saying before, you, you always go into the Denglong so that you get that search and then up into something else. Yep. Um, Denglong's still light, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it's yes. light, so he's still going to get the benefit if he decides to, you know, somehow get into Chaofeng, but we'll see what he decides to go with here. Right, like, put yourself into Christian's position right here. He's not happy about this. He's no. just watching his opponent go through the moves. Yeah, it's ne never a good thing for yeah, your opponent to do. Yeah, down to two cards. He's yeah. got the Brilliant Fusion, which is, of course, a dead card, and the yeah. C Crush Wyvern at the moment. Not much. Yeah. So, um, he actually, yeah, he just turned... Uh, De Denglong's got a cool effect where you can send a monster um, to the graveyard from your deck to make it become equal to that level. He sent Geotus, which made him a level 2. So 2 and the 6 of Zephranu makes the Bashir, and he's going to get 2 cards that he gets to shuffle away. And obviously he still has Bashir's effect to be able to destroy something and potentially bring something back. And that could even be the combination that he destroys to then get even more card advantage from that. And I, yeah, he can't get Denglong because it's a level 5, but you can get anything... Less than uh, less than that, less than four, four or less even. Yeah, so I don't know whether he's um, potentially just gonna. Just go mentioned, he still has. Th this is his hand. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's got multiple. There's, multiple there's a lot. And also, oh, 
he's oh, got a, he's got a couple oh, of aces up his sleeve. Just just the Yangzing path. Though. Yeah, Yangzing path is so good. It's just pot of avarice. It is it's literally. <laughs> it really is like a better version of pot of avarice. And look at it. It's um, Chai Wen just kind of flying down to the earth. Is it Chai Wen or is it Chi Wen? Both of these are correct. Chi, uh, yeah, uh, probably Chi Wen. I'm, I'm just gonna say it like the way it is. Uh, depending on the country you're from, both of these are correct. I'm just saying because Luke can speak Chinese, so yeah, no. be able to see, yeah, be able to give us I guess, the yeah, but I, chi, so Chi is actually um, Chi in that exact way is is seven in uh, in Chinese. Um, when I don't uh, look at those pokes, oh, when, high yeah. speed. High poke speed is actually Chambara. very misleading. Chambara. Yeah, well, Chambar, I think. That, that's 4,000 because Chambara can attack twice. And then Suwani. Yeah, I think that's that's enough. <laughs> that's, mm, yep. that, let's just say that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of damage. So what do you do? <laughs> he's like, I'm, yeah, attacking I'm attacking with this. <laughs> I'm attacking with it multiple times. Yeah, he's explaining it. Yeah. And um, yeah, Christian is still processing what is happening. So this that's can attack 4, twice. 6,390. <laughs> he's like, so this can attack twice? <laughs> I love the players rub cards to say that they're going to attack. Yeah. yeah. And he realizes there's no need for yeah. a score pad yeah. right here. This is exactly what he needs. He got a couple of cards yeah. where he's like, this was a terrible hand. Uh, look, looking no, at his graveyard again. And Tomlin. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Lucas Clavis going 1-0 with Yang Sing. Good start. We Very good start. Mm. He didn't even go, he didn't open, right? He didn't go first in this game. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, no I, uh, Christian went first. Yeah. He, no, no he, didn't, he didn't. Because uh, Lucas oh, yeah, had the no, no, he d yeah, double, double metal for yeah. Zephyr now. Yeah. So yeah, there was a Apparently there was a even. bit of. Um, of course, the uh, the question is always like, did, did anybody misplay? Because that's one of the most the favorite questions on the stream. And uh, on the one hand, we had um, the terraforming being negated, where not everybody agreed with that play, uh, the, neg the negation on the terraforming, and then after that terraforming got negated, he didn't activate Union Hanger, which. Yeah we thought was probably not the best move. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. I think maybe he just, he, he might not have realized. I think so, yeah. There, there's a there's a very big difference. A bi or sometimes a small word difference makes a big difference in terms of how it plays out. If yeah. you can only activate this card, you can only use this card, you can only... Yeah, activate yeah. and use means yeah. two very, very different things. Yeah. yeah. And it's just one word. All right, guys. Uh, what's happening now with the side sticks? Well, let's see if you can have a look and see if you can catch what they're actually siding in there. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, so let's... Uh, yeah, actually, they're not doing it uh, let's have a little behind our look. camera. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's got a Beatrice in the side. I guess that's for double Zephyranu. Uh, Gamma Seal. Kaijus, yeah. Uh, let's retaliate and see him maxi. A yeah. couple of eccentrics. Archfiend eccentric. Yeah. That's Twin Twister. Yeah. I don't know what... This one is though. Ollie, what's this card? Sorry. Can. Uh, what's it says? <laughs> what does it say? Savaravis, the old and. Uh, oh, what's that? Ascended? Is that possible? Hmm? I'm trying to translate it back into in my head, which is the other way. <laughs> <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's, let's just see it again. It's Okay, so while we're looking at that one, um, let's talk a little bit about, the, about Christian, the ABC player. Yep. Um, he's playing Cycle Reader. That's kind of useful, useful in this matchup because of Chi Wen. Um, you can take out Chi Wen because it's light and dark. You know, maybe it's that would work. Denko Seka. Yeah, the could Denko work. Seka. Um, against those back rows. Retaliating C, not so much. Flying C, not so much again. Um, dark Hole could do stuff if, it, if you manage to make. Um, Dweller and then play Dark Hole. Yeah, you definitely need to make the Dweller first. Yeah. Or you'd be sad. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Pot of... Oh, Pot of Acquisitiveness. I, I guess that's what Pot of AQ yes, means. <laughs> okay. This took a little while because we had to decipher the handwriting and then <laughs> after the handwriting we still had to make sense. It's uh, Soravis the Ancient and Ascended. Okay, I have... Not the, oh, not the oh. old and descended, it's the ancient and descended. Okay, why um, is he playing that? He, that? he can ritual summon it with uh, Sprite's blessing. blessing. It won't be that. It'll be the, it's got a discard effect. When you, you can discard it to target one of your monsters to do something. 
Um, yeah. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a monster you control, you can discard it, negate the activation. That's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Uh, if your opponent would special summon a monster, you can return this card from your field to the hand. Since it never really hits oh yeah, play, it wouldn't that's, hit play, that's not it. Yeah, so it's it's about the uh, negation, negation of targeting. targeting effect. It's Where's interesting that, that you play that card just for that one effect. Sorry? Oh, what set is that? It's Invasion Vengeance. Is it? Yeah. yeah. But it's the latest set. It's brand new, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very pretty. <laughs> I was just trying to think, cause it looks like one of those cards that you'd have in a really old set that everybody forgets about. I don't know whether it's just because of the artwork on it, you think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's a it is a hand trap. It's just yeah. it's blue instead of being the usual yeah. usual effect monster it, color. It really doesn't have any second uh use in most decks. N no. Not in this one. But neither does things like, you know, um Well, we can always set Maxi. Other things. Yeah, you could yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm not saying it's recommended or it's good or anything, <laughs> but but you can. No, that's that's very true. Sometimes it can make the difference in the timeout if you yeah. just have to prevent another attack. Yeah, if you need 500 damage. But yes, I, I get <laughs> it. Um, it's Christian. obviously not the, the main. Anti-spell fragrance. Yeah. Pick your poison. He did. He went with metal foes. That means he might lose to anti-spell fragrance. And he did uh, no, open with A, B and C. Isn't Christian the one who played anti-spell fragrance? Yes. Yeah, Christian did act. Um, the the thing is, I was again oh, referring okay. to sorry, sorry. what uh, Raphael Nevin said earlier. Yeah. You pick a deck, and basically you're deciding on what you're going to lose to. Yeah. Uh, in this case, when you go with Metal Force, you you kind of lose to A B yeah. uh, to anti spell fragrance. Yeah. But uh, Rob, as you pointed out, much more importantly, he's got A B, and on the field he's got C. That is unfortunate, I guess. But since the anti spell fragrance is going to buy him some time, it could be okay. Okay, so he set he set a max C, kept one in his hand to be able to discard, and he set. See, you can set a max C. Well. I'm just. Yeah, that's that was actually really relevant right now. <laughs> yeah, you can you can also bring it back with soul charge later on. Yeah, if he did a soul charge right now, he could make sky cavalry centuria, do some stuff. Does he run it? Oh no, 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 no. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to make uses out of max C. Yeah, it's it's such a versatile card, obviously. Is that T top? Yeah, he's playing t the T-Top combo. Yes, he is. He oh, is that means he can get rid of the anti-spell fragrance using um, Breaksword. He's he actually Breaksword. playing uh, three speedroids in his main. Okay, which other speedroids? He's playing uh, One-Eyed Dice or something, whatever it's called. Um, that's a good question. Sorry? Uh, Red Eyes uh, Dice? Red Eyes Dice, yeah. 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 Uh, is it, does he have um, Breaksword in his extra deck? Yes. Yeah, so that's it. That's his out here. Out in large quotation marks to... Uh, the anti spell fragrance. There's the dice. Or maybe he's gonna synchro. If he's he's got a few options. I mean yeah. uh, this this is one of the cool things with it actually. I'm pretty sure you were about to say the same thing. That he has this engine where he can just synchro. If he doesn't need his pendulum engine. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually right now really good. Anti spell fragrance is not doing anything against him except for the dark hole that he yeah. cannot activate right away. And Yazi stop is completely untargetable. Just just as a base effect of Yazi, it's just untargetable. Well, I mean, there's a reason why it's the evil of the Yang Sing. Yeah, it's pretty evil. And ABC Dragon Buster is the only thing that's going to be able to get over that. Because there's, no, uh, there's no real kind of backup plan here. Well, he does have all three. Okay, um, he's chaining Twin Twisters? Yeah. Uh, he was destroying Yahtzee for his effect. Oh, okay. Apologies. I thought he was destroying um, his own back row card. No. Ooh. Does oh. he have two Yang Zing cards in his he hand? He does. He has oh. a Yang Zing path and a Zephyranu. So wow. he's going for the old school combo. Yeah. Okay. Use. It this is literally a combo. No, it is yeah. actually a combo. I know. I know. Yeah. Just <laughs> just saying. It's a combo. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. His this uh, weekend is going to have some long lasting effects <laughs> for all future coverages. Yeah. Sorry. It's, this is a really great one because uh, what, what this really, really does is, you know, when we got Zephyranu, it really changed the way that you played Jayatu. Jayatu made this this combo so much, so much stronger um, because you can go into Bashir and up into various other things and destroy your own Chiwens and all sorts of exciting things. So he's going to go into Bashir here, probably spin away some cards, destroy the Chiwen, get its effect from that. Yep. and oh, face down and that. So it means so that good. he's actually got rid of the C as well. I've never seen an anti-spell fragrance putting in less work than we yeah, have seen that, right no, here. that actually... That's <laughs> that, there is a nothing. chance that this that this anti spell fragrance is going to be worse for Christian than it is for Lucas, which is yeah. unheard of, basically. Yeah. 
So yeah, and he's got a scale. Oh, this is just amazing. What a comeback. Yeah. Like, what a comeback. Yeah. Other decks that, that use the Pendulum Engine completely shut down when mm -hmm. they don't have a Twin Twisters or MST or something. So and he smart. just says, yeah, I got I got options. Yeah, this is so smart. So he's going to be able to get something off Chai Wen. He's then going to be able to destroy the back row to revive something. That back row's combination, which allows him to go and search for another that Metal Foes row. to complete his scale. Is that back row combination? Wow. Yeah, he just got it from uh, Silvered. And he just keeps going. Stealing I believe he also still has a Dark Hole in hand. Yeah, well, she probably yeah, he isn't is. getting much use right now. Yeah, look, here we go. Um, that's the other Zephra Yangzing monster. I can't remember the name of it. Zephraxi? Zephraxi, that's the one. Yeah. Um, that when it gets destroyed or when it's summoned, you get to add, add a card, I think. Yeah, we're trying to bring it up. It's going to be there in a second. It's just yeah, so there today we, go. we've got some loading issues. Yeah, so the combination... Um, you can target one Yang single Sephra monster you control, except it. That oh, I guess treat as a tuner. As a tuner. Yeah. Um, also, you place it on the bottom when it leaves the field. You can only use this. That's it. Yeah. Um, no search. Yeah. So he wasn't really using. Yeah. That so he just didn't use his effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was just using it for it being a three, I think. And now it's time to pendulum Big summon. Big pendulum summon. <laughs> wow. Um, the, the mid game of this match is really quite intense. exciting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he had Denglong, he had Denglong as well. It just oh, see this. This is all from Jatu. All from Jatu. Not nothing else. You know, really, really did this. All, all that the Metal Fuzz card there did is really extend the combo. Oh, that is, <laughs> that's a wrecked. That is that is pretty much as yeah. big as it gets. I mean, we we saw some cool I'll games this weekend. Another, oh wow. No, that that's it. I think he's he's yeah. got games. Yeah, That's it. He did win. Wow. That was really quick. That was a absolutely. Great showing from from Lucas yeah. with, with the uh, Metal Foes Yang Sing. I mean, yeah. we're, we're getting a let's bit let's ahead of ourselves. Yeah. So yeah. Let's just 46 plus 1500 plus 1900. Let's wait until he picks up the pieces. Yeah, it's exactly 8000 if he doesn't he doesn't need to play anything else, I don't think. Yeah, but he's, he can keep going here, guy. Yeah. He can make another, he's going to make another bash here, here. Of course he can. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like the most natural thing in yep. the world. Plus 500 attack onto whatever he brings out as well. Oh, oh, which, yeah, too. okay, yeah. that's 5,000. <laughs> swing, swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, there's another big card. Wow. wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm really happy that we got a second feature match ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Let's quickly talk about that one in our post-game discussion. <laughs> 